Yo guys, what's going on? It's Lou from Bluetooth and today we're just going to be taking a look at our CRT emulator called CRT Machine. So here I've got a Super Chrome, which we'll, I'll be doing a uh, tutorial on tomorrow. It's our new Chrome Text tool, which uh, is fully customizable. But for today we're just going to be learning about the CRT emulator, uh, how we can use it, the tools it comes with, um, and how you can get a nice looking CRT text um, for your edits. So let's jump straight into it. I've got my text here. Um, I'm just going to come to effects and jump into my adjustment clip and add that straight on. And then I'm going to come into my CRT machine. I want version four. So let's just, this, this one, I'm going to drag that on. Um, and straight away you've got the cool CRT looking look, but there's lots of things we need to change here to get the style that uh, looks really clean and crisp uh, and something a little bit more true to life. So I'm just going to bring the grain power down first and then I'm going to head to our pixel size and start to drag this down. Now it starts at a default pixel size so you can really adjust to your liking. Um, but when we start getting the more finer details is when we start to drag it down really low. And as you can see, the pixels are changing and the CRT is starting to really come to life. Now there's lots of things you can do here. We can also adjust the pixel aspect. Now the pixel aspect works uh, directly with the pixels. So you can manipulate the actual shape of the pixel. So right now, if we drag the pixel size down even lower, we've kind of got the scan lines going up uh, with the individual dots. But if we drag the pixel aspect up, we can make them into just single dots you can kind of get that more LED looking sort of style where they're just individual dots let's drag the pixel size down even further just to showcase this you can even change the angle as well so if you change the angle to say 18 degrees you start to get these more uh, diagonal looking uh, CRTs on a more of an old-school monitor I'm just gonna keep that as default um, let me drag the pixel size aspect up again. And I'm gonna to continue to drag the pixel down. And the good thing about this is you can manipulate these three pixel size, pixel aspect and pixel angle to really dial in um, the sort of the CRT you're looking for. So as you can imagine, there's lots of different possibilities, dragging the pixel aspect low, pixel size up, uh, pixel angle, uh, to any different angle and you're going to really be able to manipulate the pixel so you've got full control over how your CRT looks it's not just a default shape or default um, style it's really up to you um, there's obviously the default values I've set but really play around with these um, and you have full control over those um, once I've done this you can come down to motion trails if it's a bit hard on your CPU drag the motion trails down to one uh, down to zero sorry and maybe up it to one when you've um, uh, when you're about to export right now this is how it looks um, and it's really clean I'm gonna leave the color to last but first I'm gonna bring down the brightness of the bar so we've got our bar strength here I'm just gonna bring this low uh, and the scan bar opacity just so we get a subtle flashing the flicker as well the flicker speed should remain high i think because uh the crt used to give off that sort of omni omnipresent flicker that used to sort of um emulate from the back highlights uh, and also the dark so maybe flicker speed down but just um bring the opacity down so i mean flicker keep the flicker speed up but bring the flicker opacity down you get something a bit more subtle like this and now this looks nice the speckle amount you can see we'll add in these speckles. I tend to keep that at default. The shine threshold, the shine spread. I keep all of these at default. Now I'm just gonna bring the lens distortion down as well. I'm gonna tap that in at zero. I'm gonna bring the global size back to one. Um, so we don't get any distortion, but the distortion is good. It adds uh, that effect towards the edges, but just for the sake of this tutorial, I'm gonna make everything flat. Um, so if you wanna change that, bring that back to zero. The jitter strength is the sort of the, the movement that goes up and down within the, uh, the pixels because of the rate and speed the frames are flashing. So if we add this back 
to high. It's really subtle, but this moves up and down. Now we can come into the color. The gain is set at 3.16. But if you want to bring that down, you will obviously take away a bit of the shine and nullify the colors. So I'm going to leave that at default. And there you've got a full custom control wheel here for the colors. So we can emulate the sort of the exact colors we're looking for really. So full control, saturation, you can bring up, you can make it really, really intense. Contrast, Contrast, we just tend to get more of a digitized looking CRT. Um, something I don't use a lot, but it's an option. Um, and you've got some cool effects. It really dials in the CRT into the image. Um, so you get these kind of cool looking aberration going on. And uh, it looks more pixelated. Um, definitely an option for people out there that want to use that. But I'm going to leave it bright. Um, the gamma, the brightness. Um, is literally just the brightness, how bright the image is, and the gamma works, the color itself. So if you bring the gamma down, you can start to really bring out that uh, the the color of the original text. But once again, I leave everything default for a reason because I've I tested and tried lots of different settings, and I found to get the most re realistic looking uh, CRT, this was um, these were the settings that I come up with. The hue. An easy way to change the color if you're not feeling uh, the color you had in your original text just mess around with the hue and you get some really interesting results um, the frame repeat once again the motion trails on the frame repeat will work hard on your cpu so if if, if it's struggling uh, initially to play back just bring these down to zero and maybe up them um, when you're about to export but frame repeat will repeat the frame so it'll sort of turn into a more of a stop motion like CRT it will skip every one two three four five six however many frames you want it to skip and the motion trails will add sort of a motion trail effect on onto the edge um, um, and onto the end of your clip so uh, mess around with those as well they're really useful in creating that realistic looking effect but um, yeah they're options but be careful because they work hard on the CPU now if we add these, uh, I've got these butterflies in the background. I've got our text. And because we've done this on an adjustment clip, I'm going to re-enable the adjustment clip. You just want to click this off and click this on for it to reset. And we've got this really cool CRT looking title here. And that's pretty much our CRT uh, emulator. It's called CRT Machine. It works really well um, inside DaVinci Resolve Studio. There's lots of settings. I think the key aspect of this is being able to manipulate the pixel. It's all procedural. Being able to change the angle, adjust the, the, uh, the CRT to exactly how you like. I'll just showcase that a little bit again. If we bring this down, we can start to get these more straight line CRTs. And there's a lot of options. Um, if we bring the grain power up, you start to get the, the pixelated grain in the background, as you can see. I'll bring that back down to zero. And you've also got this, the lows and the highs. This can just dial in the, uh, the colors. All right. So if you bring the highs down and the lows up, you'll start to get a more contrasted image. Once again, just uh, another parameter that gives you the ability to get the correct CRT look you're looking for. Uh, this works on anything. This is just a text example. This works on footage, like I've just shown you with the butterflies. Just hold off the butterflies. We reset that. And you've got these cool looking CRT butterflies. Works on your music videos, uh, normal footage, everything you can possibly use it on. It works uh, and it's super powerful. Works directly inside of DaVinci Resolve uh, and it's currently available at Bluetooth.com. So head over and check that out. It's a real quick one for me today. I just wanted to showcase a little bit of the, uh, the text and how it works um, with uh, cool text. Uh, and yeah, and, that, and that's it. So take it easy, guys. Um, I'll catch you tomorrow and showing you our Super Chrome, uh, which I'm really excited to release. 
Um, it's a big one, uh, lots of parameters and that, and, and lots of uh, cool, cool ways to use Chrome Tech. So stay tuned for that, and I'll catch you in the next one, guys. Peace.